Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can calculate a certain day of the week based on a week number. So this can be useful if you're comparing weekly results from one year to the previous just to make sure that you're pulling the correct date. For instance, you want to just compare the Monday of a certain week to a Monday of the same week last year. So in Excel there is a week num function that will tell you the week number. But to try to get the the Monday or the Tuesday or the Wednesday of that week is a bit tricky. And that's what I'm going to go over and, and show you how you can do that um, in Excel. What I'm going to do to make this process uh, a bit easier is to set up some, some variables. So the first day of the year. And for that, I can just type in January 1 of 2022. That's my starting point. Um, the day of the week. So this is going to relate to your. Uh, th this could depend on your on your regional settings. So in my regional settings, um, for instance, Monday is day number two, a weekday number two in Excel. So for example, January first, that was a Saturday. So if I use the weekday weekday function it's going to return a value of, of seven. So that's the last day of my week. So my regional settings say Sunday is a one and then Monday would be a, a, two, a two and Saturday would be all the way at the end at number seven. So if I want to set my day of the week to, to Monday, I'll, I'll set this to a number two. Okay, so that's just an important thing to check to make sure your regional settings are are uh, matching up with what you expect them to be. You can change this. Um, for example, in the weekday function, there is an argument for the return type. So if you want to follow a different um, different schedule than your default, then you can do that. But for, for this example, I'm just going to leave it as, as the default. So I'm going to use named ranges for these variables. So this one I'm going to call first day, as in the first day of the year. And then this one is going to be my day number. So the idea being that I want to be able to change these, you know, if I if I want to look at either a different year or a different day of the week. I'm just going to format this just so it looks like um, more of a date. And so the first thing I'm going to do is calculate the difference between the first day of the year and my desired day of the week. So the first day of the year being a Saturday, my day of the week being a Monday, number two. So I can create a, a formula that says, you know, day number, which is this value two, subtract the weekday of that of that first day. So that tells me that's a difference of minus five because Monday is number two and the Saturday on my regional settings is number seven. So that gives me a negative five differential. Now, the problem with this is, as you can see, I, I can't just go and minus five from this from, from January 1st, because it's going to put me in the wrong year. So what I first need to do is set up an if function to say, okay, if it's negative, what I'm going to do is add seven. And if it's not negative, then I can just add to the starting date. So how that's going to look is I can just adjust this formula and say, okay, if this difference is less than zero, so if it's a negative, then I'm going to do is take that day number and still subtract that first day value, except now I'm going to add seven to that. So jump it forward one week. So even though this has put me in the wrong year, at the start, I can add seven, and that'll push me a week forward to get me the uh, the first the first Monday of of the year in this example. Now, if it's a if it's a positive number, and I don't need to do that, then what I can do is just take this day number and then subtract the weekday of that first day. So in this case, then I'm just taking that difference. So if it's not negative, then I don't need to do that. Okay, so that tells me I'm adding two. I'm adding two days to this this first day of the year, and so what I need to do is 
add that into my equation and say plus this differential. So now it tells me, let's format this as a, as a date. So it tells me January 3rd, 2022. That was the first Monday of the year. And so I can modify this and say, okay, what if I want to look at 2021 when the first Monday was on January 4th? So I can change my, my year here. And now you can see my calculation updates. So I'll go back to 2022. And the, the idea being that, you know, you can use variables in, uh, in, these, in these situations to make it a bit easier to adjust your, adjust your formula. So right now this works as far as calculating the first um, first day of, of the year, whether it's the first Monday, Tuesday, whatever the case may be. But I want to adjust this formula so, so that I can look at the specific week number. So I'm going to create another variable here for the week. And let's just call this number one and call this week. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my formula again here because I've got the adjustment here to add seven if it's if it's in the wrong if it's in the wrong year. So if it's the first week I need to add seven. But what I actually need to do is adjust this so it multiplies it by the week number. So now if I'm in week one it's still gonna add seven days and push me to that next year. But if I'm at week two, then it's gonna add another factor of seven onto that and keep on adding depending on the week number. Now, what I also need to do is do this for this, the second part of the argument, if the value is true. Now, in this instance, I did not need to add plus seven to this because it was it was gonna be in the right, um, in the right year, so I didn't have to do that. But what I'm still gonna do, the, what, what I'm still gonna do is add that calculation, except this time I'm gonna do a factor of seven multiplied by the week value minus one. And so I do week minus one because if it's week one, then one minus one is zero. I'm not, I'm not adding seven days, it's just gonna be a zero. So it's just gonna um, work out the same way. So I hit OK, and now my formula has has updated. So now I can change this to week two. The only list jumps to the tenth, week three, week four, and so on. And so now you've got a formula that can easily adapt based on the year, the day of the week you want, and the week number. So whether you're looking at the first day of the week or the last day of the week, it really just depends on whether you're looking at a Monday as your start of the week or Friday is your end of the week or Saturday or Sunday, whatever the case may be, because you can just change this day of the week here. So let's say we, we want the end of the week to be uh, a, sat a Saturday, right? So now you can see the formula adjusts based on, on that variable. Now, if you didn't want to use variables, you could obviously change these values, but as you can see, there's a lot of named ranges in here. So if you wanted to do something like um, the the first day if you wanted to replace that with the with the current year what you could do is use the date function and say get the year based on now which will return today's value and then comma one actually close and then one for the month one for the day so that would give you the start of the current year so your formula will be a lot more complex without these variables, and you can definitely do this. You know, you can change the day number to a value of two and um, adjust all these other calculations. So we've got, in place of the first day, we can put the current, uh, uh, the current year, the, the first day of the current year, and then just replace all those, all those variables. And so the day number we can change to you know, two, but then the danger is, you know, you're hard coding all of this. So, um, so you may not want to use variables, but the problem is, as you can see, it starts to get uh, a little messy and hard to hard to see if you've made all the adjustments correctly. And then you have to go in and, and change this because this is a pretty complex format to get to exactly how you want to be able to uh, calculate the right right day of the week, but. By using variables, some control Z to go back to this, 
you know you can you can ha have a pretty versatile setup where you can have one formula here for for the current year and then you can copy this over and have another set of variables for the previous year and then you can generate okay for week you know 25 I need you know the Monday of that week you can set that up using um, the year the day of the the week and the week number so I know this is a pretty uh, complex formula so I'll leave a link in the description if you want to follow along but setting up this way you can make it a bit easier to, to compare the same week from one year to the next.